In this video, we're going to be talking about subgraphs, which is a particular type of containment relation for graphs. So, as we can see here, graph H is a subgraph of a graph G if the vertex set of H is contained in the vertex set of G and the, the edge set of H is contained in the edge set of G. So we're actually going to be looking at a couple of different types of containment relations this, um, in this course, and subgraph is just the first one. So let's look at an example. <clears throat> is H a subgraph of G? So here we've got G, um, which has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 vertices, and here we have H, which has 5 vertices. Now you might notice that None of these vertices are labeled, um, and that's okay. That just means you can put whatever label on them you want. Basically, we're just looking to see if there, if this structure in H can be found in our original graph G. So you might want to think about that for a second. You can pause the video and think about it. <clears throat> okay, well, we're essentially just looking for this structure. So what about if we consider this to be v1, this to be v2, this to be v3, this to be v4, and this to be v5. And over here we let this be v5, and this be v4, and this be v3, and this be v2, and this v1. So here right? We have v1 through v5. Here we have v1 through v5. Okay, so the vertices of H are a subset of the vertices of G. That's our first criteria. And if you think about these edges, okay, so here we have v1, v2, v2, v3, v3, v4, v3, v4 and v4, v1. Well, over here we have v1, v2, v2, v3, v3, v4, and v4, v1. And we also have v4, v5, and v3, v5 here v4, v5, v3, v5. So here the answer is yes, these are subgraphs. Now again, you didn't have to put these labels on these graphs. Um, you just have to recognize that the structure is there. Well, how do you recognize that the structure is there? <clears throat> so a subgraph can be obtained from a graph by repeatedly doing just two operations, deleting edges and deleting vertices. So it makes sense that if you start with all the vertices of G, you can delete some, and if you start with all the edges of G, you can delete some, and then you'll end up with a subgraph. So by the way, over here on the right is the notation. We write this sort of um, backslash for deleting an edge, and we write a minus sign for deleting a vertex. Okay, so I just want to sort of explore some options here in this green graph. So we want to create a subgraph. So first of all, what happens if we delete an edge? So deleting an edge is pretty simple. You're just going to erase the edge, essentially. Okay, so if we want to delete this arch, now we have a subgraph of the original graph. Okay. Um, what about if we delete a vertex? So remember, we can delete edges or we can delete vertices. So we deleted an edge, and that's to just sort of erase it. Um, and then what if we want to delete this vertex here? So you're going to delete the vertex, but now what about all these edges, right? So they're sort of ending nowhere. So when you delete a vertex, you also delete every edge that was associated with that vertex. Okay, so we're going to delete these. And now we're left with this, which is a subgraph of the original, right? So it has six vertices. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine edges, it looks like. <clears throat> um, and you could keep going. So maybe you want to delete this vertex. So we delete this vertex and all the edges here. And now this is also a subgraph of the original graph. So essentially, you can do this however many times you want. You can delete an edge, or you can delete a vertex, which entails also deleting every edge associated with it, and you end up with a subgraph. So if you want to go back and look at what the original graph looked like in this video, you can just rewind a bit. But this is a subgraph, and we got several subgraphs along the way, right? And for example, you could continue to erase things and make, say, this. 
this is also a subgraph of the original, and so on. And it doesn't have to be connected even, right? I mean, like, so this is a subgraph of the original. So as long as you're only doing these two types of moves, you'll always end up with a subgraph.